Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Cebu, the Philippines. Today is a very special, well, it's actually a morning because we are going to a place called Entoy's Bakasihan where they specialize. It's a legendary restaurant where they specialize in local eels. So I'm hanging out with my friends Ben and Yuri. They make great food videos. They're local from Cebu. And we are actually gonna go out to harvest the eels with Cuya Rolando, who is a fisherman in this area. And then we're gonna go back to the restaurant where they cook the eels. They specialize in the eels. They have an amazing story. And then of course we are gonna eat the eels. It's gonna be an amazing day of eels in Cebu. Well, actually on an island right across the, the, the channel from Cebu in Cordoba and I'm gonna share all of the food with you coming up. All of the eels are coming up with you right now. Good morning, Ben. Yes, good morning, Mark. Ben and Yuri. Yes, Yuri, Yuri. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Yuri, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's such a good day. So good to hang out. Yes. We have arrived this morning to Entoy's Bakasihan. Yes. And what does Bakasi mean? Bakasi is a uh, eel. Okay. Here. It's famous here in the in this village. So right now we're going. We're headed to harvest some eels. We'll have experience with Mark and some local uh, villager here. We're glad that you're here and experience this kind of exotic food. Thank you so yeah. much. Oh, I'm so excited to be here and we're here bright and early in the morning. It's just about 6 a.m. And before we eat, I mean, we're right next to the water, so we're gonna harvest the eels before they cook them and before we eat. The setting here this morning is so beautiful and it's nice to be here at the crack of dawn when it's cool, when the sun is just poking out over the horizon. We're gonna get into a boat, but then we're probably gonna have to walk around because the, the water is quite shallow right now. This is so cool, what a, what a beautiful place. Oh yeah. We're ready, Mark? Nice, ready, <laughs> ready. So Ben, we're actually we're, I mean, Cebu is right across that channel yes, of water, correct. but we're on a different island. Where different are we? Island. Cordoba. This is called Cordoba. Yes, a lot of eels here. This is a different village, a different town from Cebu. Yes, correct. It's a municipality here. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's different island. It's a small town, small island here, but they're rich in eels, mm. salt eels, yeah. So we're headed there to have that experience. And so I was also reading and then also watching some some shows about Entoys. And yeah, they said that this this community is, I mean, they're known for their eels and a lot of them um, rely on harvesting eels for their livelihood in this community. Yes, correct. And so Entoy, I mean, he's truly a legend, but he, he wanted to look for a way to support the community yes. with what he was doing. And so in order to support the fishermen, the local fishers of this village and community, he uh, started buying the eels the from eels. them and then cooking them at the restaurant right there on the on the ocean. So, yeah. what a what an amazing guy! Amazing and guy, yeah. This is gonna be so cool to see the the eel harvesting process. Yes. It's beautiful out here this morning. Clear weather. The wind is not too strong. Ben and Yuri were telling me that sometimes the wind can be really strong, but today we have perfect conditions. The water is clear, and you can see the water is quite shallow, which is like prime conditions. This area is known for their eels. We've landed on this seashell island. It's a beautiful environment, and from here we're gonna walk because it's getting too shallow. This is very cool though. We're just wading through the water to get to the eels. This is an adventure for food. It's gonna be eel to table. So we've come out, finally got to the traps, these bamboo traps with which they lay out here in like the seaweed. And he uses a few cockles as bait. So we're trying to look for some of the eels now. Oh yes. 
how often does he come every day? Every day kamo ari diri ko ya? Oh. Yeah, every day. Every day. Around 5 a.m. Okay. Yeah. We have found quite a few that are empty today, but then quite a few that are many. Uh, many. Oh, another one with many. That's they just kind of squirm out, <laughs> slime out. You can see how how squirmy, squirmy they are, and how slimy they are. Some of them are pretty big, but these are these are baby eels, right? Baby eels. They are babies. Yeah, like many, it. many. Okay. Whoa! So we, we got quite a good harvest actually, probably 20 or 30 eels, yeah. but then he said he also went earlier this morning. Yes. He got even some, more, some a farmer. lot more. Yeah, correct. Uh, so they have a full basket which we're gonna see, but this is the way fishing is, you know, they, uh, fishing is a lot of work, a hard work, and sometimes you get a lot big catch, sometimes yes. you don't. Yes. But thank you so much to Kuya Rolando for bringing us and showing us this process. This was absolutely incredible to see. So we are back to the restaurant, to the shores. That was such a, I mean, it makes the entire experience so much more valuable to hang out with Kuya Rolando uh, fishing for eels. But he already has a couple traps that he had filled over the last couple of days. So those are just loaded with eels. Some of them are pretty good size, like almost a foot long. But then others are just like a, a few centimeters long. But they're getting ready to transfer these eels to the bucket. Then we're gonna go to Entois, where they're gonna cook them up. Oh. Ali. Okay, I gotta try these eels for the first time. I'm going in with my hand. Oh, oh yeah, they're so slimy. Wow. You can barely hold them in your hand. Whoa. Oh, one of them is huge. Look at this guy. Whoa. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> they are wiggly and slimy. Yeah, you almost feel the slime on your, you do feel the slime on your fingers. Oh, can't wait to try these. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. We're getting started first with the nilarang, which is like a sour kind of stew or soup. Yeah, sour stew. Yes. And he tossed in, there's onions, there's tomatoes, there's uh, ginger in there, yeah, maybe tamarind. some green chilies. Oh, tamarind. We're gonna tamarind, add tamarind yes. to make it sour. And we're getting started on the nilarang with the eels first. Uh, he adds in another handful of tomatoes and then just some, some of the tamarind to make it sour and then just kind of simmers that down. It's almost ready. You smell the sourness, the aroma. It's gonna be so good. So that's the nilarang. Now we're gonna see another specialty here is the fried eels. Thank you. That was a very cool process. Those are the two main eel dishes, but from here, we can, they actually serve a lot of dishes here, right? Yes. All sorts of local, local dishes, so, which they have prepared at the front. Even though Mr. Entoy, he's no longer with us, I think he would be extremely proud for the way his family, it's still completely family run by his kids who have preserved the recipes, who have respected the dishes and this restaurant that Mr. Entoy uh, started. And he would be proud. This is a continuation of his legacy and just the amazing man he was. And I know, I guarantee for sure, that he uh, cared so much for his family, he cared so much for the community, and he was truly, he's truly a legend that we should celebrate.
This is it. Oh, it's so good. Everything is cooked fresh. Everything is directly from the ocean to table. Yeah. What a meal. What a meal. And then we're not eating rice either. One of the one of the common things to eat here is not rice, but yes, it's a corn rice. Corn rice. Yeah. It's best paired with this kind of food here. This kind of dish. So would it be common instead of rice to eat the mice? Yeah. This dish. Like many people would choose yeah. to eat the mice. Yes. One. Okay. One of the chosen um, rice. Because okay. we have the puso here, the hanging rice. Then we have the normal rice. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So let's first scoop into the, yeah. the mice. Okay. So we'll put some of this onto the plate first. It's very crumbly and kind of like. Oh, and then and then because it's kind of dry, you can add some of the soup to it, right? And then yeah. keep on eating as you eat. All these side dishes, which all look spectacular, but you would not come here without eating the linara. The linara. Right? That's 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 a must. That's a must. This yeah. is their absolute specialty. And again, this is what the community harvests are these eels. So you get some of these. These eels, they are still slime. Whoa, that's a huge one. Oh, one of them is huge. Look at that guy. Yeah, oh, Ben, huge. that's for you. Oh, thank you so much. You give this and then some of the eel. soup. I can smell. Oh, it smells so good, right? It smells so good. Thank ben. you so much. Yeah. They are like, whoa, whoa, look at that guy. It's almost like a yo yo. Yo yo <laughs> eels. I love those aromatics in there. Okay, so there's a little bit of a strategy to eating these eels. Ben, yes. he's gonna show us how. Yeah, this is the strategy. You have to hold the head, then you have to find the intestine. You have to take that one out. I'm not sure where's well, that one part. In there. Yeah, this oh, one here. Of, they kind of split open when they're cooked, right? Yeah, of course. They kind of split open, open. Like they, they explode a little bit. Yeah, you have to oh, take this the one intestine. out. Okay. Yeah. So you don't eat the intestine. Yeah. So once you take this one out, from top, you have to pull it down, like this one here. Yeah. You have oh, to oh, hold oh. this one because it's very oh, slimy. Is that because of the bone? The bone in the center? Yeah, so bone you're in the center. Out Yes, ah, okay. this is how you do it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, this is the one you will eat. And that's what you eat? The yes. skin okay. with the meat, and then you have the bone left over the bone, in the head. There. Yeah, this one here. Okay, I gotta try it. So I'm gonna grab it by the head. Let's see if we can locate that intestine. Is that the intestine there? Yeah, yeah that's the one. That's that thing. the one here. Okay, yeah. so you've got the intestine here. You... You don't want to eat the intestine. That bit? Or the whole, this whole thing? Yeah, the whole oh, thing. this whole thing, okay. Yeah. So you chuck, chuck the intestine, and that kind of sack, the intestine sack. <laughs> All right, is that good? I think that's good. Yeah. And then you grab it by the head. Oh man, Ben is an expert at this. And then you kind of, oh, this, so this, that's the meat that you want to eat there. Yeah. And you, Oh yeah, they do have some slime to them. And then that bone structure is very, like quite strong. Here we go. You slide your fingers on that bone line, that center bone, all the way down. Okay, so now you've got the skin and the, and meat. the meat yes. deboned. Here we go, can't wait to try it. How's the taste? Oh wow. Oh, it's so good. Oh. It's so like oily and rich. Mm. Not too slimy actually. Yeah. Maybe the sliminess is on the skin a little bit. You do feel it on your fingers, but then the, the meatiness of it is so good. Yeah, it's rich in flavor also. Mm -hmm. And the flavor of that stew with the ginger and the tomatoes is what stands out as well. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. And the method of eating it is incredible too. Mm. Then should we try the, the fried eel? Fried eel. Fried eel next. Then we have to bite, bite directly, it? yes. Okay, like a big giant chip. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Mmm, mm, so nice. You've got the crunch. So these ones, you, when it's fried, you can eat the bone because it's yeah. all been deep fried. So you got the crunch of the bone. They're crispy pretty much all the way through. The bone also is not that big. Yeah. Real, whoa. You can swallow it directly. Yeah, you can eat the whole thing, the hedge. It would be good with the dip. Oh, and they have a little bit of a bitterness to them too. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's the, the, the intestines because you're yeah. eating the intestines this time, right? Cheers. Totally different form and also delicious. And then just being able to harvest them and then eat them. Yeah. Mm. So oh, incredible that's experience also. Yeah. Well, that was totally worth all the effort to harvest the eels. So what is this one, Ben? Sea cucumber. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> it's different. It's so good. I was expecting it to be more rubbery. Oh, like it's, no, it's not, it's a little bit slimy. It's not rubbery though. Yeah. Like it just oh, it's it adds the flavor, the onion, the, the crunch in your mouth, then the tomato. It's so clean and refreshing yes. and fresh. The taste of the vinegar is just absorbed into the, the yes. sea cucumber. Wow, that's. That is so good. We should move into, should we try one of these shells? What oh, yeah, kind of shells are these? Spider shell? It does look like a spider. Yeah. It has a foot that's yeah. a little hard. So you have to So you just pull, pull it out? Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you eat all of this? All of this, I right? think, yeah, I think you have Maybe to pick up this out. one, yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. And then dip in the? Salsa one. Dip in the salsa one? Dip in that salsa one. Oh, scoop up a chili in this in this spider shell. Mm. 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 Oh, it's so sweet. The texture of this spider shell. Mm. Like you immediately taste the sweetness of it. So that begins sweet, and then it has this complexity of bitterness to follow. Mm, yes. Wow, it's delicious. Okay, let's try that. Bit. Oh, this one is tulingan. Tulingan. Makarel tuna. All right. Yes. And this one has just been grilled, right? Grilled, yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm. It's just so meaty. And it's very compressed, very, the meat. It's very lean. Mm. Like it's not oily or fatty at all. Very like solid meat. And I think the final dish we have here is the grilled squid. Like I didn't even realize I maybe I touched it. I have black ink <laughs> all over my hand, yeah. But full of black ink when she cut it open. Right. Mm. 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 The sweetness of it again. A little bit chewy, really sweet, but the freshness and so meaty. Yeah. And all the food is fantastic. Oh, what just an incredible meal. And like I was mentioning, it just has everything that I love. This is everything that I love about food. From the freshness, knowing your source, where the ingredients come from, to the amazing hospitality of Mr. Entoy, his family that is preserving the, the, their family recipes for generations. Delicious, outstanding food incredible atmosphere, and just great people to hang out to eat. Thank you, Ben and Yuri. From here, well, today is not done. We are still going to eat more seafood. We're on our way to a different part, I think north of Cebu, where we are going to eat oysters. So that was about, about an hour drive from Entoys, and then Ben, I'm bringing my umbrella, it's quite it's, hot here. The sun is intense. <laughs> yes. But where are we at next, Ben? We're in Temyong, Stalabahan, here in Sku Consolation. And what did we come here to eat? The oyster, the so talaba. Famous, famous especially for oysters Yeah, famous here. for oyster and here. It's called talaba? Talaba. Does that mean oyster? Oyster, yes. Ah, okay. It's a Cebuano name for ah, oyster. It's right. talaba. Yes, we're here. This place is really cool also. We're gonna be like there's some water around yeah, us, surrounding us, right? And they harvest the oysters fresh, and then they serve you the oysters. So we're gonna definitely yes. have some oysters, some grilled oysters especially, yes, right? Yes, grilled oysters. Awesome. 
So that's the next meal coming up. So we've made it just a short walk away. I think there's a number of different places for Talaba, but we're going to one of the best ones, which is called Pamyang's Talaba. Man, this place is so cool. It's a bamboo structure. We're on kind of like a, a dock of coral-like stones, but kind of surrounded by water, and everything is fresh and local here. So right now, um, we're going to the pond, then harvest the oyster, then, but we have to take the small boat. Oh yeah. yeah, surfing. It's like a surfboard. <laughs> oh yeah, this is kind of cool, like a floating wobbly platform. Kind of like, yeah, paddle boarding. Okay, so that was cool. That was really nice of them. Actually, we just came out here just so they could demonstrate how they harvest them and how they grow the oysters on these oyster beds. Uh, but we're just getting a little bit and then we're gonna go back to the shore because they've already harvested for the day and they're already on the shore ready to be eaten. Thank you. From here, they're gonna grab the oysters and we're gonna weigh them out. These oysters are typically not eaten raw? Yes, it should be grilled so okay. that it will be safe. Okay. Yeah. So, so normally, the normally people eat them grilled. Yes. Okay. And so we're gonna we're gonna have them grilled and then we might also get maybe a grilled fish. Oh, fish, the rice bangus. Oh, oh yes, grilled bangus, bangus. the milk fish. The milk. Oh we have to get a, a grilled bangus as well. Yes. I love bangus. Oh, we're ready? <laughs> we're ready for the next meal. How should we eat these, Ben? Yeah. This one is already open. Yeah, again, I love how rocky they are and like unpolished they yeah, are. That's this great, is the one. natural. Open, pop this open. Yeah. Open the lid. Oh yeah, then you can oh, see nice. the oyster here. And the oyster sticks to the sticks to the top there. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. The salinity, the salty seawater flavor. Hmm. So fresh. Yeah. The texture in your mouth, mm -hmm. it melts. <laughs> it melts. And I think they don't fully cook it actually. Yeah. They just kind of heat it up on the fire till the juices kind of come out. So it's kind of in the between stage of cooked yeah. and raw. And now the bangus has arrived. Again, this is the grilled milkfish. And they've, what have they stuffed it with? Um, tomato, um, onions inside. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a simple just kind of stuffing. Yes, inside. Maybe salted. Mm. And then just grilled on the fire as well. And bangus is maybe the national fish of the Philippines. Uh, you cannot miss it when you're in the Philippines. I love it. It's unique. It has an incredible texture. And I think it's one of the most beloved fish yeah. across the Philippines as well. Oh, hot. Mm. 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 Oh, Very wow. nice. Yeah, so good. Oh man, it's so hot and fresh. Yeah. Um, mm. It's so juicy also, it's not dry. Yeah, like bangus has this unique texture that, I mean, it's called milkfish for a reason because it is kind of milky. milky. Like you bite down. Uh, it's like, it doesn't feel that fatty, but it it's juicy and like oily at the same time. And then I think that stuffing that they added in it's nicely salted yeah. so that the, the salt with the, the skin on the fire. Yeah. That combination all together. Thank you. Oh, that was a mountain of oyster shells. That was so good. And that wraps up another spectacular meal. This place is so cool. The oysters are fresh, and that grilled bangus was one of the stars of the show. Man, that's one of the best bangus I've ever had. It was so incredibly juicy. That belly, that seasoning. 
and today has just been, I mean it turned into a day where we focused on ingredients straight from the ocean to table and the amazing people behind them. Entoys was just truly one of the highlights of Cebu, the Cebu area. It's an incredible place with an amazing story and the preservation of Mr. Entoy, his legacy and harvesting eels to support the community and oh, what a day. And I want to say a massive thank you to Ben and Yuri. They are locals here from Cebu and they're just they are passionate about food. They're so hospitable. They're so friendly. They make amazing food videos and also recipes. And I'll have their links in the description box below. But they are Ben and Yuri. And so go check out their videos. Go subscribe to them. Go check out their content um, across the platforms. And we're going to be hanging out with them again. Also, a couple of days, we'll be eating some more food, street food in Cebu as well. So make sure you check out more videos in Cebu. We're going around. It's going to be a lot of action, a lot of delicious Filipino food. So make sure you stay tuned for lots more videos in this entire series. And finally, I just want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Cebu in the Philippines and I will see you on the next video. Mm.